Hello everyone, welcome to SAP Connect. So in this session, we will learn how to park a document in SAP and then post it. So before moving ahead, let me log in first. My client is 800. User ID I have given that is SAP user and I have typed in my password as well. I'll simply hit enter. So in the transaction bar, I will mention the T code F-65. This is for parking document. I'll hit enter. Here in header data details, I'll give only, I'll fill only the required fields, right? So the required fields are those fields in which a little check mark appears. So system, so the SAP will allow me to move further only when I fill this field, fill these fields, right? INR in document header text. So this is for my personal understanding. I'm giving this, I'm filling this field as well, giving details in this field as well. So test park document. Mm -hmm. So I have filled the header data details. Now in line item data details, I need to give. So posting key I have given 40 for debit. Let's say I want to park my insurance paid GL. I'll select the GL and I'll hit enter. So amount let's say 45,000. So I've given the text and amount for the debit detail for the debit line item detail. Now what I will do is I can simply click on document and park the document from here in this state as well. Right. I've given only detail of first line item that is the debit line item details and I can park it right now as well. But in this case, I will not park it right now. I will give the second line item detail as well right so credit posting key 50 for credit here i will give my gl check issue gl then i'll hit enter in amount i'll give star in text i'll give plus so it will automatically and hit enter so it will automatically copy the amount and text from previous line item now what i will do is i'll click on document and then I'll click on park document so the document 1091 was parked so now we have successfully parked the document so this is what the user will do user will park the document and then now any person who is authorized who has the authorization to post this post the document in the system will type the t-code fbv0 and hit enter in the transaction bar, you will type it. He, she will type the T code in to T code FBV0 in the transaction bar and hit enter. Here, it automatically picked document number 1091 because this was the last document we parked. Okay, so let's say you have defined an internal number range, right? So, in that scenario, and there are a lot of documents posted parked by the user, and you want to post it. So what you will do is you will simply click on document list here authorize what authorized person will do is he will simply he she will simply click on document list here right in company code we'll give our company code and document number so if there is an internal number range so the document series is going right so they'll just type in let's say the user has parked a document from so I have parked three documents previously as well. So what I will do is I will choose from 1089 to 1091. Right. So when I will execute, I will find the document from 1089 to 91 parked in the system. See, these three documents are parked in the system. Now I'm an authorized person, let's say. And I'm going to post these documents. So what I will do is I'll go back. I'll simply go back first. Here I'll give the document number. So it's 1091. 
so I'll post all the three documents one by one. 1089 fiscal year is 2021. I'll hit enter. So now I'm an authorized person. I will check the document details first. So this is this is correct. Debit insurance paid, right? Check issue with the same amount, right? So document seems to be perfectly fine. What I will write here is I'll write in reference if I want to write something let's say checked and what I'll do is I'll simply click on document and here I'll click on post so now so before posting let me tell you one thing right now it is not at all posted in the system it is just parked after clicking on post it will become an accounting document FI document finance document right right now it is just parked into the system so that is why this is the authorization of posting the park document is given to the authorized person only so that he can so this is basically for the re-verification that any document which you are posting into the system is perfectly fine and checked so here I'll post it because it is perfectly fine so it is asking for value date right so before posting it asks for value date because wherever your bank and uh, your cash jails are related whenever you are making any payment you need to give the value date the date on which you are going to pay it is a required field in case you are making any payment right so i'll give the value date and hit enter so now you can see that document 1089 document number so earlier it was parked now it is posted with the same document number document 1089 was posted in company ss47 let's say we want to see this document we'll simply go to fbl 1n not 1n sorry 3n gl line item display forward slash n was for new session here i will So there is a better way of seeing it. I'll simply type in the transaction bar, type the T code FB03 in transaction bar and hit enter. Here 101089 document it already picked, right? I'll give my fiscal year only and hit enter. So this is the accounting document now. Reference checked, right? General ledger view. Here it is showing ledger OL that is your leading ledger right and you can see the document here now it's a it's posted into the system so this is how we park and post the document in the system let me go back to the post let me go back and post other two documents as well I had not given the value rate that's why it's asked, it asked me for giving the value rate now all the documents are posted into the system and there is no part document left right so this is how we park and post this documents in the SAP system, right? So the basic difference you need to understand between holding and parking the document. I've already made one video on holding the document and then posting it. And this was a video on parking the document and then posting it into the system. So the basic difference between parking and holding is in hold document, the same user is going to hold the document and then post it later but in park document the user will simply park it into the system right and after that any person who is authorized will complete the document if it is in incomplete stage right if, if the user has given only one line item detail he will give the second line item detail right and he will re-verify he will recheck that whether the user has parked the correct document the amount is correct 
anything which is required light in this case in the in this video we understood that we had not given the value date the user let's say we were the user and we were the authorized person as well right so we have not given the value date so it showed an error so we give the value date and then posted it into the system so this is how the process is so the authorized person will check the document so this is for the double verification right let's say the amount is of very the amount is very huge let's say it's a um, let's say it's a, it's somewhere around 50000 crore so when you are going to post it into the system right so an authorized person should check right so what what we can simply do is let's say we will we will tell the user to only give the debit details debit line item details and the header details right after that an authorized person will come and he will he will just open the t code fbv0 then he will enter the document which was parked in the system after that he will complete the document by giving the next line item detail credit line item detail in this case right and then he will simply post the document into the system so this is how this is what the concept of parking and holding document is uh, i have explained the whole document concept in very detailed manner in the previous session so that is all in this session we will be covering a lot more topics in other sessions thank you so much